Hi, my name is Brian, and in this video, I'm going to teach you about preset recommendations. To get us started, let's review what you'll need to know. First, let me be clear, with preset recommendations, you're going to save time, reduce your liability, and improve your report quality and consistency. Preset recommendations are where you've established a fixed value for one or more parts of a recommendation, such as location, task, and or note. Your presets can include a location, task, time frame, note, and if the recommendation should be added to the report summary. And just because something is preset doesn't mean you can't change it to meet that specific situation, such as updating the time frame or adding the recommendation to a report summary due to its significance that day. With presets, you can simplify addressing your most reported on conditions and turn the reporting process into just a matter of a couple clicks. Not only will this help decrease the time it takes to write your reports, but it will also help improve your report consistency and reduce the liability as you aren't making spur-of-the-moment decisions. As for how they're set up and managed, that's all done from any inspections report writing screen, as I'm going to demonstrate in just a moment. Also, once your presets are set up online, they'll be available for use in your reports with Horizon Mobile after your next full sync. And although you can preset every condition, you should focus only on the components and system types that are common in your area, such as asphalt shingled roofs, gutters, downspouts, and landscaping. Conversely, if you do not inspect boilers, evaporative coolers, and slate roofs, you should not spend any time presetting their conditions. And you can even take advantage of your old reports and build out your database of presets from existing recommendations, as I'm going to show you. Alright, so it's now time to review how to set up and manage preset recommendations. And to do that, I'm back at report writing for my test inspection. Now you can set up presets from any of your inspections, although I prefer to make changes to my database from a test inspection like this one. However, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to explain a way to repurpose old reports to help build your list of presets at the end of this video. Also, as I stated earlier, you should only focus on setting up presets for the components and system types that are common in your area. And gutters is one that comes to mind that's applicable to everyone. So let's set up a preset there. You'll begin by selecting a condition. I'm going to choose clogged. Next, you're asked to add a location, task, time frame, and cost estimate to build the basis of your recommendation. Of course, all of this is optional and only fill out what you want as part of the preset. Remember that your location can consist of a direction, floor level, and room. For location, can you specify it exactly or generalize it? Keep in mind you're trying to preset as much as possible without losing accuracy. If you can't provide a location because it's situational, leave it empty and won't become part of the preset. If you don't preset a location, or any value for that matter, you can always fill it in manually when editing that report. I'm going to choose various as it's rare the gutters are clogged in a single spot. Next, select your task. I'm going to choose clean because, well, the gutters need cleaned and it's as simple as that. Next is time frame, and if you don't include these, just skip it, but I'm going to select regular maintenance. Next is cost 1 and 2 for min and max estimates. Fill them in if you'd like, but I'm going to skip them. You can also add this to the report summary by checking the add to summary box. I don't feel this is summary worthy, so I'm not going to check the box. Again, if on site I felt the situation was so severe that the recommendation should appear on that report summary, I can easily make the adjustment when editing the report. After you've made your recommendation like I have, click Next, and from here you have an opportunity to add a note. If you feel more context is needed, add whatever you'd like in notes, although I'm going to leave mine empty. Of course, you can always make any last minute adjustments to your recommendation using the location, task time, and cost fields, but mine looks good as is. Now to establish the preset, click the link that says set these entries as defaults. Upon doing so, the link changes to say default text is now set indicating the preset has been established. Can you believe it? It's that simple. Now just click Save and Close to return to Report Writing, and at this point, your condition should be successfully preset like mine is. To test it, click on the condition itself and delete it from the report, and then re-add it, and watch as it bypasses the location, task time, and cost screen, and takes you directly to where you can manage your photos, add a note, or to save the entry and move along. At this point, you should know the steps to create a preset recommendation, but a wise man once explained to me that repetition is a large part of learning. So my friends, let's go ahead and create another preset together. Although this time, let's look at another system. How about cooling? And what about an air conditioner that's past its life? In this situation, everything starts out the same. Select the condition and then fill out your recommendation. I'm gonna use exterior for the location, a bit ambiguous I'll admit, but it works for me. Next, I'll select a task as replace, and a time frame as unknown, as I'm working on the premise that the unit is still operating. I'm going to skip cost estimates, but I'm definitely adding this to the report summary. 
Upon going to the next screen, I'm going to add a note that says, although the system is near or at end of its life expectancy, continue to use and maintain until the unit fails. At this point, I'll double check my recommendation before clicking set these entries as defaults to establish the preset. And just like with last time, I'm already done. And what did that take me? All of 60 seconds? It'll be the same for you, my friends. All right, so without becoming too much of a broken record, now that you're aware of how to create a preset recommendation, let's talk about updating a preset. You'll begin by editing the condition, and from the edit window, you'll need to disable the existing preset first, so click default text to set, and once it turns back to set these entries as defaults, you know the preset has been disabled. At this point, you can make whatever changes you want. In my case, I'm gonna change the time frame to as soon as possible. When you're finished editing, click set these entries as defaults, to establish the preset again with the updated values, and then click Save and Close to return to report writing. Now when you select this condition, it will include the updated preset. However, this will not change any existing recommendations in other reports that have used the old preset. Well, that's pretty much all you'll need to know about updating presets. So let's take a moment to talk about disabling a preset. And although it's unlikely you're going to stop using a preset recommendation once it's been created, it's important to know how to disable one permanently. Again, you'll start by editing the condition, and from the Edit window, just click Default Text to Set. And once the link turns back to set these entries as defaults, you know the preset has been disabled. Upon clicking Save and Close, that condition will no longer use the preset recommendation when selected in any of your reports. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to review with you is how to repurpose old reports and create presets from the recommendations you've already made. This is a fantastic way to take the work you've already done and use it to build your database of presets. You'll begin at your home screen, and from there you need to pull up report writing for a completed inspection. After that, simply navigate to roofing recommendations and see if you've made any recommendations. If you had, you'll want to edit each of them and see what can be preset. For example, in this report I have old worn out for sloped roofing asphalt shingles, and the recommendation consists of a location, task, time frame, and gets added to the report summary. In this case, the location is throughout, the task is to replace, the time frame is as soon as possible and it's added to the summary, all of which I think are suitable to be part of a preset recommendation. So all that's left to do is click Set These Entries as Defaults, and the preset has been established. Now, whenever you select that condition, just like when I select Old Worn Out for Asphalt Shingles, it'll automatically make the specified recommendation. Once you're done with one system's recommendation, proceed on to the next, and repeat this process until you've addressed all the recommendations in that report. Now, in certain circumstances, you can't preset everything. For example, under plumbing, I have a laundry tub faucet that's leaking. The task is to repair, and the time frame is as soon as possible. However, the location specifies the basement, but in my opinion, that's too situational and not suitable for everyday use. Now, there's two choices. One, you can leave the location out of the preset, or two, you can use an ambiguous location. I prefer the former, so all I have to do is temporarily cut out the location, and then establish the preset by clicking Set These Entries as Defaults. After doing so, I paste back in the location and then click Save and Close. See, I've now been able to repurpose two-thirds of that recommendation, and in future reports, all I have to do is add in where the laundry tub is located. Remember, you've already published this report, so the changes you're now making do not impact the published report and what the client sees. But this does allow you to build out your database of presets quickly, and that's going to save you a significant amount of time on each report thereafter. Keep in mind that if you follow this process after each report you generate, you'll eventually have most of your recommendations preset, and that is going to take your reporting time from hours to potentially just minutes. Alright my friends, this completes today's video on preset recommendations. If you have any questions or comments, put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, love life and have a wonderful day.